Early hackers used whistles from Cap'n Crunch cereal boxes. You can draw a line from the Tiny Toys to Apple Incorporated. Cereal companies have long US CD box prizes as an inducement for children to nag parents into buying sugary breakfast food. From movie tie-in toys to video games on CD-ROM, remember Check's Quest. Cereal box baubles tend to be momentarily thrilling and then quickly forgotten. Except when they're used for hacking. Only one cereal box toy has that distinction, the Cap'n Crunch Bosun Whistle. Meant to replicate the whistles used by sailing officials, boatswains, to signal meal times or commands. The multicolored whistles came along with boxes of Cap'n Crunch starting in the mid-1960s. One fell into the hands of John Draper a former U.S. Air Force electronics technician. Draper was part of an underground culture that predated hacking as we know it. Phone freaks. These early hackers played certain tones through their telephones to bypass AT&T's analog system and get free long-distance phone calls. Draper heard about the whistle from other freakers. The whistle easily played at 2600 Hz. The perfect tone to an Apple Incorporated co-founder Steve Bozniak's words, sees a full line. Though many freakers used instruments for the same purpose, the mass-produced whistle